What's up, everybody? So uh, today's video, again, I have my little book here. It's all about why you need to have systems and uh, basically mental models, uh, systems in your life uh, and in your business and why you need these things. I'm going to explain why right now because like, I'm literally just gonna break it down uh, towards the, the actual implementation in your life because the world is ran by systems. I've said this before, as you look at, for an example, your, your internal like health systems, you have specifically road work systems, you have the educational system. So those are just a few points. You have the medical system, etc., right? And uh, there are some people who went out and designed those systems. I always talk about master systems designers, right? And um, that's why we love uh, systems <laughs> so much within self-built systems. But anyway, so first point here is fitness. So if you, if you look, it, it usually actually, it goes like this. You need mental models, right? You need systems. So mental models, systems, routines, and habits. That's the little uh, sequence that you need them in. So we're gonna first look at fitness, right? So if you want to look a certain way, uh, if you have certain health goals, if you want to lose weight, gain muscle, all those things, right? Then you are going to have to follow a certain system. Why? Because number one, person A that wants to lose weight and person B that wants to uh, specifically, you know, uh, get ready for a marathon, those two people will follow different systems in their actions. So systems are everywhere, okay? So like eating, for an example, if, if you know what is inside of the food that you're eating, right, you will have a systematic way of going about, you'll wake up in the morning, you'll either have breakfast or you won't have breakfast, or you'll fast, etc. right? And another thing will be, okay, cool, um, I only eat, for example, I only eat, um, like my last meal is six um, at night, right? So I'll have a little bit of bigger meal at six at night because I know my systems and things, how I've tested, tweaked and changed them around and how I optimize my flows is really about systematic actions that create real flows in your life, right? So the second thing here we have is, well, the third thing actually is dating. Right, so dating for an example is if you want to really maximize your love life, right? And you, you have to go out and you have to see people. Now, I'm gonna give you an example here. I'll put this book here, a really, really good book. Go check out this book. It's called uh, the, um, the Game of uh, Numbers. I believe it's called The Game of Numbers, but like I said, I'll put it here. And uh, it specifically just shows you that if you're the dude that's on the sideline thinking that you're gonna find your princess, um, you have a much lesser likelihood of the guy that's actually in the game playing the game of numbers. That is the book's name, uh, the game of numbers. And basically, yeah, you're just going about meeting people, you know what I mean, like going on dates. But you, ha if you want to bring that into your business life, etc., there's there's ways. You will create systems around date night, for an example, right? You will go out once a week for date night, specifically just date night and all the other things you do around that, how you spend time with the person, etc. It's how you get to know that person, but it's, again, it's systematic thought, right? So, um, yeah, and like I said, like for an example, you have systems uh, where, you, where you will go to sleep at a certain time because you know, for an example, your nighttime uh, systems, for an example, you, you come, okay, you know you have to wake up at uh, five or four in the morning, then you know if you go to bed at a certain time, you will be fine, right? Be because that is a system. Th things you put into your mouth, that is also a system. So now with those things being said, like how does that apply to business, right? So if you look at systems thinking as a whole, uh, that's a whole nother video I will get to uh, in, within the series of, of these videos, but System thinking is something I really, really love, okay? You get kind of like design kind of thinking and you get systems uh, thinking and there's many avenues of how they really trunk, trunculate, right? So the thing is within business, it, you know, for an example, you have certain systems around, let's say, uh, client acquisition for because you and I both know if you are not talking to new people about your business every single day and you're not here producing amazing results, uh, you're not looking after your clients, etc. 
bringing forth the promises that you promise them, then your business will not grow. But those are different things, right? One doesn't, if one doesn't happen, the other one doesn't happen. And if this one isn't consistently firing, right? There's no growth. So that's an example. You have, you have systematic ways of doing things. So another example here is that for you will, you will go out and you will maybe try to, you know, like change something uh, in uh, routine wise, habit wise, right? So then you, you get really used to like doing a thing a certain way, but, but then you realize, okay, if you think about it differently and you actually start doing things a little bit differently, um, you create a different system around that, etc. And that's really what it breaks down to guys. So, um, yeah, I mean, I really hope this, uh, this video helped. Uh, I know this is, uh, some things that have really helped me, um, in my process, uh, you know, just basically understanding how do I optimize more things around my life, fitness, business, uh, dating, like I said, all these things in general, right? So yeah, I mean, if you like this video, please go ahead, uh, leave a like, it really helps us just reach more people. And um, yeah, I mean, if there's any other kind of videos that you guys want me to touch on, please leave a comment in the comment section down below on that note. And as always, go out into this world and do something